It's me, Bree Reads! Hi friends, it's me, Bree. Today, let's read a story together. Sing and move. Today, we're reading Let's Move by Larissa Honsek, the very same author of this book. Do you remember Opposites? You can read and sing about Opposites with me in another video. Today, we're reading her newest book and we'll even talk about it with her later. Now let's read. Let's move. Friends, Will you move with me today? Let's follow the actions from the story together. Before we move our bodies, let's stretch. First, put your feet together. And raise your arms up to the sky. Up, up, up. As high as you can. And now, Bend down. Try to touch your toes. Again. Up. Reach up. Up. Now down. And touch your toes. Great. Now let's put our arms out and twist. Twist like a helicopter. Twist. With your arms out again, let's make arm circles. Make circles with your arms. First small, and then big. Let's go forwards, and now backwards. Great. Let's count to five. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five. You did it! Now friends, let's jump into a star shape like this. Can you try? Let's do it together. Ready? Go! A star. And now let's stretch this way. Try to touch the ground and reach up. Now come back up and bend the other way over here. Down, touch the ground and reach up. Try to wiggle your fingers like this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And up. Now let's go down to the ground on your knees. Put your hands down and lift up. Feet flat. This is a downward dog. Lift up your doggy leg and wag your tail. Ruff, ruff. Now the other side. Now let's sit down again and put your feet together in front. Hold your toes and wiggle your legs. What animal are we? This is the butterfly pose. Now let's pretend we're in a field of flowers and pick one. Sniff it. Breathe in deeply. Now let's pretend we have a birthday candle and blow it out. Again, pick a flower, breathe in. Now blow out the candle. One more time. Pick a flower and breathe in. Now blow out the candle. Whew. 
All right, you're ready to move. I crawl on all fours. Let's try it. Hmm, what else crawls on all fours? A dog does. What else? <laughs> I lift my leg. Lift one leg. And now the other. Did you do it? I open my hands. Open. <gasps> Peekaboo. I close my hands. Closed. Open. Closed. Open. Close. I curl up really small. I stretch up really tall. I sit with my legs apart. Start with legs together and open. As wide as you comfortably can. I sit legs crossed. Bend in one, then the other. I open my eyes very wide. I can see the world. Open wide. I close my eyes very gently. And close. I repeat it three times. One. Two, three. I open my mouth very wide and show you my teeth. I pucker my lips and hide all my teeth. Did you do it? I stand on one foot. It is wobbly. I stand on one foot and stretch my arms and legs even more wobbly. <laughs> I jump up in the air. I lie down on the ground. <sighs> the end. Oh, look at this move. Friends, this.
This is called a bridge. Should we try it? Let's try for an extra challenge and make a bridge. Follow me. Start by sitting down with your feet planted on the ground. Now lean back and put your hands up. Bend them down with your fingers pointing towards your toes. Then push and lift up. Thank you for reading with me today. And now, let's move some more. Come on. Let's try jumping jacks. Jump out and in. Out and in. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten jumping jacks. Now let's try a crab walk. Sit down like this. Feet in front, hands down. Lift up your bottom and walk like a crab. Now frog jumps. Put your knees out wide, hands between, and jump. Boing, boing, ribbit. Ooh, let's hop on one leg like this. Hop, hop, hop. We can even try switching legs. Ta-da! Hop, hop, hop. Now spin around. Whee! <laughs> Do a cartwheel or a somersault. How about kicks or even a backwards roll with your feet up and over your head. Let's try skipping. La la la. And lastly, galloping like a horse. Great moving, friends. Now that you're warmed up, let's sing a song. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Now, where is your head? Here it is. Let's touch and nod yes. Then shake no and roll it around. Now, where are your shoulders? Ah, here they are. Let's touch and shake. Up and down, up and down. Now where are your knees? Aha, here they are. Can you touch them like this? Now where are your toes? Here they are, let's touch. <laughs> Great, now let's sing. Let's touch and sing. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Let's sing it again a little faster. Ready? Head. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. 
head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good. Now can you sing it super fast? Let's try. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh. <laughs> Today's video was inspired by this book by Larissa Honsek. And now, let's meet her. Let's meet the author and ask her some questions about her book. Hi, Larissa. It's so nice to finally meet you. Can you introduce yourself and tell our reading friends about you and your work? Yes, I can. <laughs> I can. Um, I'm Larissa. I'm a uh, an illustrator from Berlin, Germany, and wow. I um, illustrate uh, very colorful and uh, with clay. That's right. And my friends, if you remember, we read one of Larissa's books on my channel called Opposites, and I loved this book because. Larissa has this very distinctive style with clay. Larissa, how did you come to discover this as your illustration style? Uh, because of my daughter. So when she was three, she got a big pack of nice um, uh, colorful clay and I started to play around with it. And uh, from that moment, I was in love with that uh, uh, beautiful material. Yeah, it's a polymer clay. You uh, you put it in the oven and then it's it hardens uh, and it gets a really smooth surface. And not only do you make these characters, but you photograph them as well. Is that right? Yeah. I photograph them and then I put them in a, a tiny light tent and then um, I have my flashes um, on each side and then I photograph them. Wow. So you do the whole process and I have to ask, of all of the opposites, who was your favorite to create? Oh, that's hard to say. <laughs> I think uh, there are 10 uh, opposites in the book, but yeah. there are much more alive in the ah. archive. Uh, but uh, I think, I don't know, in the book, I guess my favorite is the black and white and colorful. I love this. Yes, there it is, friends. Black and white and colorful. Everyone knows I love rainbow colors. <laughs> and Larissa, what do you do with your little characters when you finished photographing them? Do you keep them? So there is no um, answer for that question right now because for each project, for each book I do or game I do, I collect the, um, the clay material in a box. And right now they sleep in their box, but I'm, I'm sure I will not throw them away. I would do something, maybe maybe in the future, a artwork out of all, all of them, something in that direction. I don't know. To make, to bring them all physically together in one, on one picture or something. I don't know. They have a home. <laughs> they have a home. Yes. Yeah. Now, can you tell us about your next book? It's called yeah. Let's Move, right? Yeah, it's called Let's Move. And uh, there are tiny figures doing things like close your eyes, open your eyes, close your ears, try to listen, or, um, or really like uh, how it is to jump or to call. So it's gonna make our friends want to move. And that will make a very interactive read aloud, which I love as a reader. Thank you so much, Larissa. Is there anything else you wanna share with our reading friends or where can we follow you online to see more of your work? You can follow me. You just need to type in my name, Larissa Honsek, and on Instagram, there are two available um, accounts, one for photography and one for the, the, the illustrations. I'll put the Instagram handle right up here for friends to find you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was fun. <laughs> thank you, Larissa. And thank you, friends, for reading, moving, and singing with me today. I want to see your moves. You can find and tag me on Instagram to show me. And please subscribe to my channel for more books and 
more fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.